Making Air Jordan 1s in 40 hours. So there's five steps in order to create your own Air Jordan 1. And the first one is the rendering and the creative process. This is a step where you choose the materials, the colorway, what silhouette you want. For example, we got Travis Scott's. We went with Python, suede, and pig suede up top. Now it does vary on what creation, what type of thought process, what type of story that you want to create. This is personally one of my favorite parts of the shoe making. Just because you get the creative juices flowing, you're able to bring something to life on paper so you have an idea of what you want to make. I personally now do all my renderings on the computer. You could do this on paper as well as Illustrator, what I do, Adobe Illustrator. Some people draw this out with markers, with pens, with color pencils. The sky's the limit, but after this, once you have an idea down, you want to go and pick the correct materials. What story are you going to tell with colors, textures, and materials? So right here is my shelf full of all materials that I am using. Now you got all this stuff like exotics, you got your nice stingray right here, just normal flat leather also you know you got your pebble leather we got blue and then we got the suede on the back I have all of my materials right here that I could pick out of I do not limit myself to anything if you remember the Grinch Jordans everyone loves those this is just some nice cool fur that I've got laying around you never know when I have a project for that I got some green mesh that's coming out for a future shoe you might have seen that on my Instagram go check that out but also bandana you could use any materials as long as you work with it now depending on the project and what silhouette it is I like to have different type of foams this is my quarter inch foam but I have different feels I have different structures of foam to give a nice customization of what silhouette and what size I'm using some customers like it really thick some people like it really soft so it just depends on the customer now that we're down at the bottom shelf I have to get my different materials like my lasting board laceupcustoms.com all the other ones all the other internals that I need in order to create the full-on shoe and the structure of it once you get all the materials ready you do want to trace them out cut them out as you see right here I have everything traced out and cut out already. I did use my own patterns at laceupcustoms.com. I got Travis Scott off-whites, normal Jordans on there, all the sizes that you need. But as you can see, all the patterns are now cut out, ready to go. And the next step from here is going and stitching it together, gluing it all together to create the upper and the bottom. So this is my sewing machine right here, my Conso 29BL. This is the machine that I use to make my own shoes to stitch all the leather together. So I put lots of time into this bad boy. You got yourself your wheel, you got yourself your electric pedal down below. This is what I use all day, every day to stitch stitch leather to get it like this. So this bad boy does all my stitching. All the stitching that you've seen on this channel is right through this machine. We got our nice clean stitches all throughout here. This is where you make or break a shoe. You have to have perfect stitches and don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Just take your time, stitch really nice clean lines and it'll come out perfect. So this is the little thread setup right here. We have to have perfect lines. So you see we got a walking foot, white thread on the inside because we just stitched white leather. Normally I like to have the same color for this as well as the leather. Sometimes I have a special order for the customer and they say, hey, let's change it up a little bit. For right here, I just got white thread for the white leather that I was using. So to finish up the upper, we do need our blank panels. These are what we're using. We stitch it all together. We get our upper piece correct. So from right here, everything sort of kind of stitched together. From there, we stitch everything together and we got ourselves our upper so now that you got your upper all ready to go everything is stitched out you're loving how it looks from here we go to the lasting process last it all together and last always comes first now the lasting process is the make or break part of the shoe you could either mess it up or make it perfect so the lasting process is where you get your leather you shape and mold it to make it that Jordan silhouette. We put it over our last to give it its nice structure and we pull all the leather around, get it to the bottom of the last to give the form and the shape of an Air Jordan 1. Now this is the most important step. If you do mess this up, your whole shoe is unfortunately ruined. A lot of people can mess it up. The next step is to get your lasting board and lasting nails. Put that all on the bottom, get it ready for the lasting and just pull all the leather around. You can get all those materials at Lace Up Custom Com. I got all that as well as all the tools you need to make your own shoe. I also got the patterns, all the tools, and my shoe making course linked down in the description. You're going to want to pull all the leather around to give it its nice subtle shape. So the next step in making an Air Jordan 1 
is you got the bottom all lasted up. As you can see, the upper is all finished, ready to go. It now has its form. We gotta get ourselves a sole. Now we took the sole off already and that came from Air Jordan 1. As you can see, it looks very nice. You got the off color mid as well as the black bottom. Now the bottom was yellow. I did paint it black so it looks very nice. This would be a sole, for example, that would be going on to a Jordan just like that. Now we do take this, as I said, from already made Air Jordan. We buy that from the store, Goat, Stock X, Champs, Foot Locker, wherever you can get it. This is a sole. We glue the bottom of this. We glue the bottom of the top upper and we stick it together, stitch the midsole, and it's all finished. Now we do want to finalize the shoe, get it all ready to go. We do clean it up. We get some very nice laces, put the insoles in, finish it all up, wrap it all up, and the shoe comes out nice and fresh. And after the lasting, you got yourself a full, complete Air Jordan 1. This is a Fragment Travis Scott Purple Colorway Air Jordan 1. If you want to make your own, join my shoe making course, link down in the description, 100% online. I walk you from step one all the way to the very last step on how to make your own Air Jordan 1 from scratch. These are one of one Air Jordan 1s that no one else is making except for you. Join today. All my links are going to be down in the description. All the tools are ready on my website for half the price of all the other websites, as well as my shoe making course. It is the best one out there. Go check it out. Join today. Make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe. Turn on notifications. You don't want to miss out on the future videos that are coming out. But thanks for watching and have a great day.